there's not too much of a complicated process. The way it had routinely worked out from when we started the preparation process, we had looked at potential hotels that were willing to work uh, initially with the Ministry of Health, but now it's a multi-layered um, approach because uh, foreign affairs is involved in terms of the repatriation, as is the um, Department of Immigration. So once the hotel has agreed to be able to host repatriated Belizeans, then the Ministry of Health would come in and do an assessment and do a brief thought through as to how um, things are going to be handled from the Ministry of Health standpoint. And then the relevant ministry security uh, will go in and, and look at the layout for uh, how they will be um, monitored. I, I don't think it's a complicated situation. Um, again, if people are asymptomatic, they are also considered to be at low risk. So that there's no potential risk for um, even other people who may be staying in the hotel. Once you have a positive diagnosis, then the, the, the ball game changes. What would be that one must um, criteria that the hotel must have in order for, for the government to use the hotel as a quarantine area? Well, we always will look out for, to see one is the flow of, of how um, the, the persons would get there, um, that they will have their, the hotel would have the commitment to be able to um, ascertain that, that they are getting their food, water, uh, that they have the basic amenities, that toiletries are being given to them. Um, not routinely, but um, doesn't have to be a requirement, but of course, if they have access to television, to internet, those things make it easier uh, because these persons are in reality locked up for the next, uh, for two weeks.